so let's dive into Uplay and check out all the neat features that make it a great product to add to your next production. Okay, so uh, Uplay is nice, especially because it's a uh, it's a multi-channel uh, server, so uh, here I have a four-channel configuration, and it's uh, the GUI it is made especially so you can keep all the four channels on there at the same time. Of course, you play as a four-channel player, and you can play all your content. Um, it's very easy to add clips to the playlist. Uh, drag and drop, of course, is supported. Let's get some clips here and add them to the playlist and then play them out. You can drag and drop between channels, which is kind of nice also. Um, interesting, you play support any type of file on the, uh, on the playlist, not only video, but you can add actually audio, you can add bitmaps, you can add sequence of bitmaps. Um, and one important thing, you can actually configure the Uplay to play out with separate key and fill. So if you have a sequence, uh, an animation, a sequence of bitmaps, or you have a ProRes 444, yeah. which has alpha, or a quick time animation, or a GIF, there are not many more formats out there, yeah. luckily. It'll play key and fill to your video mixer and you can make bumpers and so forth. And another interesting thing, if you have a sequence of bitmaps, you can associate an audio file to it. Yeah. And then it'll be like, like a, a stinger. Yeah, yeah. That's, it'll, correct. It's, it, that's the right word, the stinger, yes. Uh, it has cute options inside, of course, like slow motion built in. So that's why you can connect it to a Shuttle Express or to a JL Cooper or yeah. something like that and do some, uh, some slow mo. Uh, basic uh, features are uh, these. So you can st play, for example, your playlist from start to end. So it'll actually play out uh, completely. Or usually if you're like in a news environment and these are your stories, you can play them out one at a time. And interesting, when you're in this mode, you actually have your first frame button, your last frame button, or both button. And that's kind of interesting why the playlist will never go to black. It'll actually freeze, you know, and pause. And so that avoids that, you know, mistakenly you could put a black frame on there and you yeah. always get it. So when you, when you go with your video mixer, you actually get your first frame and then you play it. And talking about video mixer, inside there are many protocols to connect to the video mixer. This is a video mixer product. So, yeah. and um, the, there are a lot of protocols. Let's see them. Uh, we can trigger uh, ATEMS and TriCaster directly through through the LAN. Uh, we can use GPI uh, for both for inputs and outputs eventually. But probably the best uh, protocols that we have are RS422, which is a typical Sony protocol, mm. VDCP. If your mixer is on the high end of the market, it'll probably have VDCP, and that allows you to actually see the clips in the console of the video mixer, select the clip that you want to play, and when you press the take button, it'll actually trigger a play on the Uplay machine. Mm -hmm. And there's also this one, which is kind of neat. It'll, it's a HyperDeck emulator, so this means if you have a Blackmagic ATEM video mixer, from the video mixer, you can select the clip and trigger the play. And of course, we have MOS. If yeah. you were in a newsroom environment and you have a MOS uh, uh, gateway uh, newsroom system, um, the MOS will actually send the playlist for the rundown directly to the Uplay machine mm -hmm. and it'll update automatically when the newsroom is, is actually managed and updated. So they're, they're quite nice features in order to integrate the Uplay to your system. So it's also a recorder. Oh, that's right, that's right. For example, on my fourth channel, I can switch to recorder mode because yeah. each Uplay is actually uh, bi-directional, play and capture. So what I'm doing here, I have an NDI coming in, but it can be an SDI or a URL. I can actually choose the capture format. These are just some profiles that we put in. You have in. a lot of them in there. Yeah, from Grass Valley, DNX HD, Apple ProRes. I'm just going to choose a, just a simple MPEG-4, for example, define the capture folder and start capturing. I'm going to overwrite that. 
So the nice thing is while I'm capturing, we support uh, Play While Rec, so I can drag and drop, for example, here. And this so one. wait a second. This is an NDI recorder, and right. you're playing back the recorded file in another channel. That's right. Simultaneously. That's right. More or less. Yes. And what I can do, I can use the mark in and mark out features of the player. So define just a segment of that which I'm interested in, and I'm going to apply it. So that will be my segment. Maybe I want to play it out on my video wall. So my channel two will be my video wall. I just drag and drop there, and while I'm capturing, it's actually playing that segment. And maybe I can just. Tell the system to loop it so just a single loop there oh by the way loops are perfect that means that if you have an animation which is rendered out of your After Effects, a uh, last frame will always be perfectly looped to the first frame so the animation will run one smoothly and okay, okay. And of course, I have uh, complete loops. Uh, you can loop the, the whole playlist. Uh, and a lot of interesting th uh, things is like uh, correction on the fly when you're on air and you're live, and maybe something is wrong in the picture. You can you're able to correct those. Like you can you know pass to another aspect ratio, so it becomes four by three, and maybe you want to crop it out. Okay, let me do it here so you see it on the on the big screen. And as you see, I'm going to scale it down to four by three. And this is kind of a cute feature. You can crop it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking out some of the letterbox. Mm. That's kind of handy. The other thing that you can do is actually invert fields. So if you have like a inverted fields effect yep. and you're on there, you can actually correct that uh, on the fly. One thing that we do very well in Uplay is audio management. You can manage all the 16 channels of audio directly into the, uh, the directly uh, on the on the Uplay, enabling and disabling uh, audio features. And but in the audio, yo, you have multi-track possibilities. So if you have different languages, you can select which language you want to, or which track you want to play and audio channel remapping. You can actually manage all your channels and remap the sequence of the audio channel. Uh, a lot more features, of course, yeah. built in. This is just a rough idea of what you can do. People like the product because it's simple to use, it's very effective, but it really, really has all the options that you need to manage your live production. So if you need to step up your DDR production, your playback recording, this makes for a great sort of independent workstation for managing your live production media playback. And if you have any more questions about it, you can check it out at axeltechnology.com or if you're in the United States, feel free to look us up at usbroadcast.co. Thanks for watching.